When you reach a certain age, functions such as sight, hearing, and memory begin to fade. This video is one of several I have created to help senior citizens use their computers to make up for these shortcomings. My name is Richard Spring, also known as the Senior Wizard. I hope this video will help you make your life a little easier. The name of this video is URL Shortcuts. I'll explain everything you wanted to know about what is a URL and how I use it to surf the web. URL, short for Uniform Resource Locator, also known as the Website Address. Here's an example of a website address. It happens to be one of my websites, but what do all those symbols and letters mean? Let's break it down and make it more clear to understand. HTTPS. What in the world is that? HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash hypertext transfer protocol. This is just a fancy way of telling the computer what language it has to speak to talk to the web. You'll never really have to remember that. Now, on the HTTP, if it has an S at the end, it means the site is a secured or a more safer site. Now let's look at the www dot. www dot stands for the World Wide Web. Known simply as the web, this tells your computer to go to the internet to find your websites. Next let's look at Slyfox Press. Slyfox Press. Name of the website. This is the actual name of the website. Each website has a unique name and no two websites will be alike. Now finally, let's look at the .com. .com. Top level domain name. When the World Wide Web was started in 1989, there were three top-level domains used to help categorize the websites at the time. These top-level domains were .com, .net, and .org. The .com or .com top-level domain was for commercial, originally intended for for-profit businesses. It is the top-level domain used for all types of entities including nonprofits, schools, and private names. Next we have .org or organization. Organizations can be any type but originally used for nonprofits, still this primary use. The last of the original three is .net or .net standing for Network or Internet Service Provider, it originally acted as a portal for a set of smaller websites. It's not used much anymore. However, there are still a few holdouts. A recent count shows that there are 664 million active websites out there, and we're running out of .coms and .orgs and .nets. So, in 2005, they decided to add some more top-level domains. Here's a couple of examples. .gov for government, .eud for education, .arrow, .asa, .biz to take care of the .coms, .coop, .information or info, .jobs, .mil for the U.S. military, Dot name for individual names, dot pro for professionals, dot travel, dot museums. And I'm sure there's a lot more that are going to come up with. 
When you're on the internet and looking for a particular website, it's no longer necessary to write the HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. You can write www.slyfox.com, but wouldn't it be simpler if all you had to write was slyfox.com? I'm going to show you a keyboard shortcut that you can do that will accomplish this. When you're on the internet and you want to go to a new website, go up and select in the address box and make a highlight so it's blue and then type in what you're looking for, Sly Fox Press. On your keyboard, find and locate the control key and the enter key. Hold the control key down and press the enter key one time. The www and the .com are added for you. This works on any website that you know is a .com, and most of the websites nowadays are .coms. If you know the website that you want to go to is a .org or organization, here's a quick and easy way to do the same thing. For example, AARP. Go up and highlight your address box, type in AARP, and then on your keyboard, find and locate the control, the shift, and the enter key. Hold down the control, the shift, and press the enter key. Now in your address box, it'll add the www and the .org, and there you are with AARP organization. I hope this has been helpful to you. So remember, next time you have a dot .com, hold down the control key and press the enter key. If it's, you know, it's a dot .org, control key, shift key, and enter. This is a keyboard shortcut to get you there quickly and with a lot less typing. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel is free. Our generation are the movers and shakers. Bye for now.